Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really been a tragic situation. It's a situation that has escalated from one of an industrial uh, relations incident to one where public order and public violence has transpired. It's a tragedy. tragedy. Um, clearly, we, we send our condolences to all of those that lost their lives, be they our employees or members of the South African Police Services, and those that are injured. Um, you know, we, we are concerned about it. It's not something that, uh, that, uh, uh, you know, that, that we sought, and it's not something that, uh, you know, that, uh, that, we're, uh, that, that uh, has left us with any, um, anything other than, uh, than feelings of sadness. And it became very quickly one of public violence. You know, there were people being... Um, what we did is, uh, through the channels that we have in place, we have recognition agreements in place with our unions in terms of the law, in terms of the recognition agreements we engaged with our unions uh, uh, with regard to the issues as they were raised. What happened was that an illegal strike took place. Uh, employees chose to not to come to work, um, and then that very quickly escalated into an, an issue of, of public violence, which was beyond our control and one that needed the intervention of the South African Police Services. And do you miss what some of the reports that have been in the local media about other falls? You gave the workers a deadline of Friday to go back to work as uh, they'd face the sack. Will you sack them? No, what we have done is we've communicated them today, to them today that we are aware that the situation on the ground was one where intimidation was still rough. There, obviously, there was a, a, a lot of trauma uh, relating to the incidents that have taken place this week, and we have extended that deadline to Monday. Okay. Um, so, so today was a bit of an aberration in that I needed to talk to... Yeah, to yeah I mean, it is a tough situation. The, the industry and ourselves have been faced by uh, tightening margins. Um, our profits were, as you pointed out, down. Um, but the company's operational results were good. Uh, we were operating well up until the incident that occurred last week. Clearly, this is going to have an impact on us, but we, it's, a, it's a company with a long tradition. It's a company with a good asset. It's a company that has shown uh, operational improvement over the last couple of years, and, and you know, it is our intention to, to get back to work as soon as we can and to address the issues and, and to, you know, to put the company back onto an even keel.